<laughs> Amazing. So, how was your day today? Good, yourself? Yes, very, very good, thankfully. You know? Does it? Absolutely. It was studied off. It was studied off, thankfully, you know. Uh, can't complain, you know. It was. Actually, you know what? It was alright. Yeah. It wasn't overly busy today, but it was a nice day, you know. Just enough. Can I get you any? Drink. No. Nope. Coffee, nope. bottle of water. I ain't ground, thank you. Whiskey, beer. <laughs> no. Nope. Not today, anyway. Yes, not today, anyway. It's no weekend yet. No, it? not yet. Not yet, you know. And um, that's a brilliant job. Yeah. Wish it was the weekend all the same. I know, isn't it? Nice. It would be nice, it would be amazing. So, uh, what do you usually get done for your hair and beard trim? We're going to give you nice weeks once for the hair. Tie up your nice beard and we're going to tie up your nice haircut. So, skin fade. Skin fade, yeah. High, mid, low. Uh, like kind of middish. Yeah, probably. Isn't it? You don't want yeah. too high, isn't it? No, I throw yeah, the middle, mid yeah. Mid fade. Yeah. You know, low to mid fade. Yeah. And then nice, and then top, like short. Uh, short, short enough, yeah. Short enough, but not too bit short. A bit of a fringe, just to... A fringe, come all the way like Yeah. You keep messy, isn't it? Or uh, come all the way up? No, messy, just with the... Messy with the fringe, yeah. a little bit oversight, yeah. yeah. 100%. And then beard trim, what about the uh, what kind of do you do? Two, I think. Two, yeah, take yeah. a bit off. And then cybers point them, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Of course. And a nice number two on the beard, and a nice low to mid fade, and a nice short on the top, and then be nice. Uh, transformation okay. for our lovely friend Dan. So it is. Thank you for coming in as well today. No worries. I really appreciate it for all your support and help as well as this. Of course. That is amazing. Perfect. 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 So how's your day been today? Busy? Yeah, busy enough. Yeah. Steady. Steady. Good job, man. Good job. Long enough. Long enough, isn't it? Yeah. No, no. Especially in this cold weather as well. Yeah, it makes it a bit, a bit more it? worse, doesn't it? Oh man, it's really, really like frosty nights. That all shade all of ours today is oh. minus six. Is it today? Uh, no way. In our shade, like. Is that right? That's crazy, isn't it? Minus six. Yeah, not nice. No, not at all. No. That was nice of you. This is number three. Number three, I'm starting with. Yeah. Minus six, minus crates, isn't it? Minus yeah. Six. I think tonight's, tonight's to be the worst of it, like. Is it? Yeah, it's basically is a yellow warning, isn't it? Yeah, um, I think, well, it's sort of a yellow, yellow warning all week, like. Yeah, and today is actually warning, today and tomorrow. Yeah. For the, for the ice, you know, basically that. Yeah, that's massive, you know. I was actually, you know, earlier putting the rubbish bag out there, you know, in the back black bin. Yeah. And I just checked the all, look at the all, turn my head and look at the cars. Yeah. Every, all the every cars in the car park has been frosted. Oh, wow, yeah. Very nice. Very frosty. It'll only get worse through the night, too. Hmm? It'll only get worse through the night, too. Is it? Yeah. Do you remember the day was snowing? Oh, uh, yeah. Two days ago. Yeah. I was at like five in the morning, and uh, I was at five in the morning, and it was uh, just open the curtains and look at the all the outside window. Yeah. Snow like splashing, lots of snow was coming, and then it was heavy snow, like, and around seven o'clock it stopped, so it was quite low snow. Yeah. It was, it was so nice to wash the snow. So it was. It's nice until it starts to melt, and then it's not so nice. No, all the mold and dirt, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I love snow, but it's just the only thing I don't like it is about the driving in the snow, you know? Yes. All right, as I said, anybody, yeah. a bit of snow, nice and easy, and yeah. it'll be grand. Like. That's right. You just have to take your time, isn't it? Yes, you're, sir. When you're driving, you know?
record that quickly, like 10 seconds there, 10 seconds there. Yeah. And it's kind of like a, it just gives me nice YouTube shorts, you know, like before yeah. and after transformations. So that's why I record that. Back to work tomorrow? Yeah, back early in the morning. Yeah. Well, working at our own house here this evening. Yeah. So, uh, try and get a bit more done. Yeah. You start very early as well, aren't you? Yeah. It's six o'clock or in and around it. It's crazy, man. It's How's Jack keeping all right? Jack is amazing. Yeah, Jack is very, very good. He actually just finished like, like 10 minutes ago. He was uh, getting on the bus 10 minutes ago. <clears throat> Go back to Long Beach. Yeah. Um, so this, um, yeah, he's brilliant. He's doing so well and he's amazing. He really, really is. Um, we have a good team in here, thanks very much. Yeah. Very, very, very good team, you know. Um, 
thanks to everybody who's been everybody's part of it, you know. We're really doing our best. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Good job, you We've come so far, you know. Created with these skills and all, you know, we've come so far. Right. He tries, that's the main thing. Hmm? He tries, that's the main thing. Jackson with here brave while hasn't he? Hmm? Jackson with here brave while hasn't he? Yeah he did. He did. He came in here with some shot off him, you know? Yeah. Um, he was in Bambridge for a while with you too. He was, yeah, he was in the Bambridge. He was in the Bambridge, you know. Yeah. Zero point five. Right. Well, that'll do. All everything is all good, you know. Anything soon, just give me a shot, I'll arrange for you and sort you out Saturday morning, you know. Yeah, so yeah. Nice and early. So all good for you, you know. I did do it myself, you know, so I'll look after you. Yeah, yeah. So, with myself or if you prefer with Jack, you know, any of us. Yeah. You know, just do whatever is easy for you, you know. It's your big wedding mate, so mm -hmm. you have any options? Me, Jack or Thomas, you can choose any body you like. Are you excited about your wedding? Sort of, yes. No, I wouldn't say I'm not, or we're nervous or nothing. It's more just a lot of work in it there at the minute. Just 
to make yeah. sure it's sorted and stuff, you know. Yeah. So you don't really, we don't really have any time for it to mm -hmm. sink in, you know. That's right. That's right. It'll not be the night before when we've nothing to do, then it'll be the, it'll be the, how oh, that this is happening, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It was amazing, man. You know, it's, you know, creating your own family and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. It's you, a peaceful thing, like. You begin them. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. It's your life, life team, you know. Life partner. Yeah, well, we're doing well so far. Of course you will. Of course you will. You guys are, you know, hard working, you know. No, you don't get... Don't get it very often now. We're together nine years this year. Nine years? Mm. That's amazing. This time, man, you know, this time, time to start your own family, you know, you know. What age you are now, if you don't mind me asking? 25. 25? Mm. That's amazing, man. That's, That's what I say. It's not often, you wouldn't get that often now, meeting in high school. And yeah. Oh, that's yes, what would have happened more years ago as opposed to now. Yeah, 100% man. 100%. Let's see. You guys been through some years, you know, together. What's up? And that's amazing, and that proves, you know, that proves a lot. 100%. That was the best decision I ever made, you know, whenever I was getting married with my own yeah. wife, you know, so and being together 13 years now and married 12 years and have a beautiful three kids, you know. Yeah. And couldn't be thankful enough, I'd be honest. And we've been through so many years together, up down, you know, and easy and hard, you know, but we just have to keep going, you know. And then just yep. the main thing is just don't give up. That's it. You know, that's all about. And trust me, you know, the best thing you can ever do yourself is to create your own family. You know, your own family is your own empire, you know. Oh, yeah. 100%. And it's a very, very good thing that you can do yourself, you know, really is. The years flies out, I mean, trust me. You wouldn't even see, you know, how the years oh, uh, went, yeah. went by. Trust me. I'm sure it's the same. I'm sure when we booked the wedding, it was 18 months to the wedding, and now we're less than two. Yeah. And it doesn't feel like 16 months ago.
number one and a half cars all the way open.
to number half, 0 0.5, open again. Point five all the way close. Yeah, but short off, well, short off every weekend, but I'm just working at our own, our own house to try and get it ready. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. So I'm off, but I'm not off, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. How's your new house getting on, dude? Uh, it's like, well, Back to the bare walls there at the minute. Is that right? Yeah, I've everything completely renovated, not just. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've just stepped back right to the, right to the block. Yeah, yeah. Start over again. It will take time, but you will get there. Mm. It'll take time, but it'll be done right, you know. It will be, it will be, yeah, of course. It's like anything, you have to make it your own. You have to make it up, you know. Okay. There's a saying, goes room wasn't built in the day. Yeah, that's good. It's not easy, you know, but... You know, no, not easy. Eventually you will get there, man, you know. It's a, it's a long process. Yeah. Any yeah, no plans for the weekend yourself? Yes, we are actually going to Edinburgh this weekend. Right. Me and my wife. Uh, it is basically, you know, it's a Christmas present to each other. Yeah, yeah. You know, we, we haven't been, <clears throat> you know, kind of been anywhere else or, or having a city break like such a long time, you know. Yeah. And this weekend we are kind of like going, I'm off this Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. So I am which has been waiting for this long time. Yeah. So I'm looking for this. You know, really looking for this. Yeah, that was nice. I think it's a beautiful city. It really is. And um, we've been there before two times. Yeah. But uh, hasn't been there. Like haven't been there such a long time. And on this weekend, we just said, you know what? Let's just go, you know. And then, um, yeah. It didn't even cost us that much. We don't have to know it's very valuable, which is really good. And then. Um, Go for two days and then come back on Tuesday, you know? Yeah. Um, 
it would be nice, nice small break. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it can be the better one. Mm -hmm. These small short ones are sometimes the better ones. The better ones, absolutely, absolutely. At the moment, we can't really go for big trips anyway, you know, we have so much to do. Yeah. You know, we really can't go for big, big trips anyway. Like the message on the Edinburgh Castle, and all you know. Yeah, yeah. So we want to do that, and all you know. So looking forward to it. Yeah. I think it's every hour they let the cannons and all off, isn't it? I'm not sure. I've never been there before in the castle, but everybody's talking about great uh, feedback about it, you know. They're actually seeing the screen nice. Yeah. So, you know, it's definitely worth a see. So let's, let's try and see how it goes. You've been to the hall, yeah? Been yeah, I've been a few times, yeah. Yeah. I've done the castle once or twice as well, and the Royal Mile out front and stuff. Have you been to the castle before? Yeah, yeah. It was a nice thing. Yeah, it was lovely. It's worth it. Yeah, a lot of people said to me, you know, it's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Like, it's definitely worth to, worth to yeah. see it. And also, it worked, um, actually, they said to me, you better book online. Mm -hmm. Before you get there, you know, sort of. Because I don't think you can just go through the door anyway, isn't it? Uh, I'm not too sure. Not too sure, but apparently a few people said, you know, you better book online before you get there. So. Looking forward, looking forward. Be a nice cold one too. Mm -hmm. Be a nice cold one too. It will be, yeah. It will be a nice cold one. <laughs> yeah, I heard Edinburgh is quite cold, you know. It is, yeah. Yeah. Sort of cold all year round, Edinburgh. That's right, that's right. That is nice. That's a zero guard, just trying to lose the bottom line now. That's perfect. Going for your honeymoon? Uh, I don't know, we've thought of a few places, but I think we're going to try and do the go over and do a few states over in America. Oh, brilliant, that would be cool. Yeah. We're going to go over, I think we're looking at maybe flying into Atlanta and then oh, we'll yeah. just sort of branch out from there because all the main inland flights all go from Atlanta, you see? Yeah, yeah. So if we fly into there, then we can sort of go anywhere that we want within America, you know? Absolutely. Exactly, yeah. Going to do Montana, going to do Yellowstone and stuff. And yeah, yeah, that would be nice. Go down into Dallas or yeah. Boston or somewhere. And yeah. I heard the Boston is peaceful city as well, you know?
Africa's a beautiful country, you know, I'd love to go like visit to so many places in Namaya, you know. Yeah, that's it, you know, there's really something to do no matter where you go. Exactly, you know. It's always something to do in there, you know, like you said in the world, yeah. you know, Namaya, you know. My dream is always to go to New York. Right. I'd like, love to go to New York and then just seeing you know, like Times Square and all, you know. Yeah. Just seeing you know, like taking like a selfie in there, you know, I love to do that. Especially around the Christmas or New Year time. That area like Central Park and yeah. you know, and Times Square and all, you know, I love to go there. Of course there's many more places than lovely places to visit in America, you know. In New York, you know, but I love to go there. I love to go there. Oh. I think we're going to do like one of the big city states, so like mm -hmm. some Miami or yeah. California or somewhere maybe, and then come down and do uh, like the outback of America, mm -hmm. so down into like Tennessee and mm -hmm. the Nashville or in the Texas, and then going to Dallas or Boston or somewhere. Because yeah, there's two complete different states, you're seeing both sides of America then, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that would be amazing. You're seeing like the, the west and the country sort of side of it and then you're seeing the big built up city side of it too. Yeah. And it's just nice to well maybe treat her to Disneyland. Oh, there's many other good places in there. But she has to stay in the good books. Ah, uh, you have to book that, isn't it? Mm. That would be nice. That would be really good.
Disneyland is every kid's dream, isn't it? Yeah, sure do. Uh, even as an adult, if I go to Disneyland, I will be yeah. really enjoy it. Well, I've done Euro Disney years ago. Did you? Yeah. In uh, Paris. In France. Yeah. Paris, yeah. Apparently, it's very, very popular. Really, really popular, you know. But doing it and doing the proper Disneyland is two different things, like. Mm -hmm. So it is. Yeah. Sorry about the water. Nope, right. Let's work away, it'll probably get tangled. Nah. <laughs> nah. Yeah. We went to the Iceland one day, which uh, it was an amazing trip, you know, for us. Yeah. Uh, me and wife, you know, we just went for like four days it was like four days trip but it was absolutely absolutely brilliant yeah, really really good good trip you know and then and then it was so cold today yeah. the time we went oh my gosh it was really 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 cold you know yeah i'd love to go for the northern lights we tried to go to see Northern Light, but unfortunately, because it was so windy, yeah. and we just couldn't see, you know. Strong wind, isn't it? Good luck. Mm, yeah. yeah. Or do you want to light less or a little bit more? Uh, but that probably there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah, you know, we tried to go to the, see the Northern Lights, but unfortunately, we couldn't because. It was so windy. It was like one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. We were trying to go see it, you know, and there was lots of bosses, like courts, you know, a lot of people, and nobody be able to see it. Yeah. Just when we came out, you know. No, I would be all into that sort of stuff. Yeah. I have those apps now on my phone, you know, for when it happens over here. Yeah. And it has the dates and times and Is it? the strength of all the different aurora storms and gives you regular updates about activity on the sun and the solar oh, and the power. Sense. No, over here. Is it? Yeah. Like it's up, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, brilliant. So you've got like a weather app, you know, yeah. only it, it dictates and tells you okay. for the northern lights, you know the strength and stuff of it and your best time to see it and all that sort of stuff or if it is going to appear you know oh because northern Ireland can get northern lights as well isn't oh, it oh uh, yeah isn't it yeah have you ever seen in northern Ireland? no but was, uh, we were up on the north coast mm -hmm. just before uh it's september time yeah september october time there and yeah we're on our way home and I had seen a few people talking about it or saying that it was maybe possible to see them, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. And as soon as we got home, I went on to Facebook and one of our friends, yeah. uh, he went up and got a picture of them up above the car now. No way. Oh, that's amazing. I would love to see that Northern Lights. And it happens quite regularly over here. It does, I heard it. It does, yeah. It's just knowing when and where to. Yeah. Where to see it? Where to go? Yeah. Obviously, the further up north, the more of a chance you have. Like, but that's right. Yeah. I love to go north coast as well. Like, it's beautiful camping. Like. Yeah. That's really, really good. Northern Ireland itself is a beautiful country. Anyway. It is, yeah. You know, like so much to do and so much to see anyway. You know, like the view and the green, like, you yeah. know, it's so beautiful and green country, you know. Sure, as I always say, the north coast, you wouldn't get it anywhere mm -hmm. else, you know, you look out to the right and you've mm -hmm. got the blue water and you look yeah. to your left, you've got cliffs and grass. Exactly, exactly, you know. Not many other countries have that, like. Not at all. 
Yeah. Have you seen the Kevin Hart's last movie? It's been Northern Ireland as well, you know? Uh, I don't think it's so. It's just so nice, like a really good comedy, you know? I love that actor, you know, he's so funny. Yeah. There's a lot of that's becoming a country. Like if you go to Belfast, it's Belfast, it's beautiful, like you know, yeah. lots of things to do, like so many things to do. You know, taking my ground half a day. Yeah, I do yeah. Taking a little bit of weight off as well. I remember when I came to Northern Ireland first 10 years ago. Oh, didn't know anywhere, didn't know anything. Yeah. Oh, it's come with the one suitcase. <laughs> oh. We used to live in England for nearly a year, year and a half. So it is. And then, I just so weird living there, you know. The rents and all that. Yeah. And then we just. And this is originally from here, you know. After we had our first baby and our second one, we just said let's move on, you know, because her parents and all was living here. Yeah. And then we said, you know, it will be very handy, and of course, you know, it will be good for her parents as well to see their grandkids near them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so that's why we just decided to move Northern Ireland, and it was the best decision ever. Honestly, it was the best move ever. You know, the people are more friendly in here, more generous, you know. I'll be honest, you know, and then it was just like so good, like, it's a really good move, and then we came in here, people will support you anything if you're doing something really good, you know, Yeah. and here, you know, which is amazing. Northern Irish people are always very friendly anyway, you know, really it is, you know, like if you're walking in the streets, they will turn and say hello if you say hello, you know? Oh, I did never walk past never and not say hello. Past, you know, like without saying hi or what about you or, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's all good and all, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's nice, nice, nice small touch, you know? Like, you don't get that many places in the world. No, definitely know? not. You know, like... Doesn't cost anything to be nice. No, that's all. 100%.
That's a good fact, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's much better now. <clears throat> I did a little bit of scissor cuts in there, and then I dry the hair and I just go back over with the scissor again check yeah. and then on the edges I just take a little bit more the weight of the hair with the tenon scissors yeah. so it makes hair a little bit more sits better and then gives hair a little bit more nice shape you know whenever you are styling it yeah. or anything else it just makes a little bit more weight of it so you can play more easily with the hair so it is as you can see the hair sits nice as well it's not like bulky or not heavy or anything else as well more you take the weight of it it's more easy to style of course you don't want to take overweight as well yeah. you want to keep the balance right but this just makes hair a little, a little bit more nice amazing some difference it is isn't it it is indeed oh sorry oh, yes. Do you see my eyebrows? Yeah, oh, okay. Okay.
I would suggest you guys always use fresh new blade for your clients. This makes a big difference. I see so many barbers out there just use your same blades, you know, with the over and over customers. You know, the blades doesn't cost much. And using a nice blade, new blade, fresh blades every time for your clients, it makes a big difference. And the clients will see that. And trust me, you know, it's a game changer. One day I went to the barber shop, you know, I was just like curious, you know, I whenever I started this job, the yeah. barber job, I was always like going to different barbers and having a different haircuts in the different places, you know. And then just to see different skills and different style to cut and hair, you know. And you always be noisy, you know, like it's better being be noisy. Yeah, yeah. Just going to different barbers, you know, seeing different places. Because when you're learning you just wanna take it more as you can in, you know. Yeah, yeah. Always fresh towels, fresh blades, even our stuff, same as well, you know. So it's very, very important. That's why I'm saying this in this video, because you know the new barbers starting out there, you know. Just watch these small things, small but it's important, you know. Grey hairs coming through there, do you? <laughs> I know oh. this one it was cut. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't worry about that. Yet, you know. It's a long way to go. Damn. That's, that's, oh, that fringe is looking queer on Greg, <laughs> from what I remember. Actually, before I start your beer, I just want to just want to just give you a quick round, just to turn me in and just to see about uh, what way the feed came out. Amazing. Let's give you a nice beer to now as well.
number two on the beard. Yeah, yeah I think so, yeah. Number two, isn't it? Of course. Of course. It's a bit cold. Cheers. You start at six in the morning then? Yeah, I got home to work on the house here the night. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's mental like. Yeah. Never stopped, hasn't it? No, stopped. definitely not. Go home and get something to eat, quick bite to eat, and then up yeah. to work in the house. What time you'll be working till tonight? Like twelve or uh, a bit after. Is it? Could be. Yeah. Yeah, it just depends. I could yeah. Threw the head up at 11 o'clock and say, right, that's enough. Absolutely. Just three wee bits and pieces, isn't it? And then 
Whenever you just get bored, just tired. Yeah, it is. You know. Yeah.
if you guys are wondering why I'm going over with the foil shaver after I clean the round the neck because it always gives me nice and smooth and it goes more closer uh, gives, gives me nice and smooth result and it also gets more closer as well and I will make sure there's nothing left in here whenever I make the whenever I feel the skin you know so it just gives me a really good clean result after I go over with the foil shaver again so Let me know if he's too hot for you. That's perfect.
Super job, eh? Nice lines, isn't it? Yeah, very, very good. Yeah, I love the length. Number one on the moustache, and number two on the beard. And just like number one to one and a half kind of blend in. Yeah. You know, a little bit more tighter in there, it gives better result. I just love the fade and all as well. Really clean, you know. Super. 100%. 100%. I'm using a little bit style and powder to just to style the hair because style and powder gives hair nice volume as well and it will it will help you to get your hair style the way you want and Dan is like a new man, isn't it Dan? <laughs> you wouldn't know me now. <laughs> oh. That's nice and clean. Try not to go too high. Try to keep it mid as possible. So, super job. Really clean, you know. Absolutely yeah. clean. Yeah. That's pretty. And I'll show you like that as well. Yeah, nice. That's yeah, really good.
晃，然后推死。Thank you very much, Dan. No worries at all. Thank you for your support and help. Thank no, you. No worries. Pretty much.